early, but we're going to start anyway. Um, I'm Claudia Bornhold. I'm the Dean of the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, and um, I'm really happy to be in your living rooms or wherever you are right now um, for, for the next half hour to 45 minutes um, and to launch our Edwards College orientation month of June. Um, the incoming students, our fall 2020 incoming students, will have an online orientation this year. And um, we want to start out our month with today's introduction to our orientation video, which we made, the, the three associate deans of the college made together with Mike DiGiorgio. I will tell you a little bit more about him in a minute. Um, we filmed this, it's available on our social media outlets. It's available on the university website and it's part of the whole orientation experience this time around. Um, usually we do orientation in person. Um, last year we did it in July. This year we were supposed to do it in June. Usually we meet with small groups, parents, students, siblings, grandparents, everyone has been around for this. Um, we do many, many different sessions, meeting everybody. This year it's all a little bit different. So we, just to assure you, you're not the only ones experienced something new. We all did too. Um, and we're definitely not used to filming orientation videos, <laughs> at least the three of us who were on camera for this. So more on that in one sec. But um, just as a little heads up, we're running this all month. Every Tuesday at two, we're going to have um, a session where we will um, break it up by disciplines. I'll tell you more about that at the end. So you will get to meet department chairs. We'll go by the different disciplines in the college, social sciences, humanities, and the arts. So um, just time for everyone to come up with questions, contact us, um, communicate with us. So all that being said, what we're doing today is um, I want to introduce two people. The first one is Mike DiGiorgio. Maybe he can say hi so he gets on camera. Hello. Thanks for having me. So Mike is our um, digital studio director in the Edwards College and um, he is um, in charge of really managing all productions in our college. So every video that you see coming out from the Edwards College has his fingerprints on it. Um, for our orientation video this year, he was everything. <laughs> he was the cameraman, he was the editor, he was the storyboarder, I guess. He was the creative director, and I guess we could call him the producer as well. So this is really his movie. And he had to work with three deans <laughs> who stumbled through this experience. And um, so that was me, and it was um, Easton Selby, who's our associate dean, is a professor of um, photography in our art department. And we also had um, associate dean Amanda Bryan, who is a professor of history. Um, so the three of us, um, tried very hard and um, we thought we'd start you today just um, with a little mini video Mike prepped together for us with some of the outtakes so you can see how different this current world is for us as well because we are not professional filmmakers or actors or anything. So I will give this over to Mike to entertain you for a few minutes. Thanks Claudia, let me get this going. Let's get it full screen here. Yeah. You guys seeing this? And as part of this community, you're going to have the opportunity to work. No, we don't see it yet. Nothing. Let's pack it up. The Okay, right now. You seeing that? Yep. Okay, let's go again. And as part of this community, you're going to have the opportunity to work with some of the best professors you will have access to within academia. You'll be able to work with uh, our Athenaeum Press. You'll be able to work with our Chanticleer Intelligence Brief. You will be able to work at our digital production studio with Mike DiGiorgio. You'll be able to do anything that you want. What we have here is completely unlimited. All you have to do is ask the right question and you're gonna get the right answer. So we're happy to stand here by Chauncey. Now when you join us in the fall, ah, blah, okay, modern Middle East as well. Um, a 
And then something about the degree in three program. <laughs> and several new minors, including film and production studies, Spanish for health care profession, and minors in, in, in Asian, um, nope. <laughs> Here in the Black Box Theater, you get a more intimate, closed experience that, uh, uh, I just totally lost it. <laughs> you can work with the theater department, and you can film, um, oh Jesus, what was it? What do they do? The theater does, um... Look forward to it, can't wait for it. See you soon, August 14th, the in-person orientation. See you then, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so at, at Coastal Carolina University and in the Edwards College, you have the opportunity to see anything and everything that you would like to see. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Great. <laughs> Sorry. These are very good. Um, and those were just a few of our... <laughs> of our <laughs> challenges. But um, so as you can see, we did this all on campus. Um, we observed all social distancing protocols as much as we could. And um, it was actually a lot of fun. It was great. But we can't wait, obviously, to bring the students in person to our campus in August, August 14th. That's my day for the in-person orientation. So I'm going to have I'm going to hand this over now um, to Easton and Mike to have a little chat on the production side on, on Mike's work in general, on the orientation video and what it took, what went into it and um, go for it. Awesome. Thanks, Claudia. Thanks, I appreciate Claudia. it. So again, I'm Easton Selby. I'm one of the associate deans in the Edwards College. And um, if anybody has any questions, either for Mike or myself or Dr. Bornholt, please post it in the Facebook chat, Instagram. We'll make sure it gets either asked, answered or both. Um, so Mike and I are going to have a conversation about the process for how he made the video, the collaboration, and we talk a little bit about his studio that he runs in the Edwards College. So Mike. Hi, Easton. As a director, <laughs> what is it like working with untrained actors? <laughs> and how huh. and directing us and telling me how to hold a reflector to get, make sure that Dr. Bornhold is lit. <laughs> um, you know what? It's actually not bad. I, I've done it my whole life. You know, I, you know, as a kid, even you start out with your friends. So everyone's untrained when you're starting. So it's something I'm pretty well used to at this point. Um, obviously, there's a big difference between trained and untrained, but there's something to be said about um, folks that aren't trained because a lot of times they go at it with, you know, a lot of uh, gumption, a lot of motivation, and they're, they don't have any egos for the most part. And that's actually kind of fun to work with um, people that are really humble on camera because I've worked with both sides. So you work with people that are not so humble and then you get to work with people that are very humble. And that's kind of fun. And you know, you guys take direction very well. So that helped. I mean, and look, we had a lot of fun doing this. I think it was pretty obvious. Um, so that, that makes the whole process um, a lot easier, I think. Yeah, you and I have made a lot of videos lately. Like I've never yeah, right. signed up for this job. I had no idea that I would be doing this kind of specific work. I'm right. trained behind a camera, not in front of a camera, yet here we are. Here Again, you are, yep. Another day, another week in front of the camera. So, all right, you, you were tasked with assembling an orientation video that really speaks to the breadth of the college. Right. And we, for the most part, gave you full reign to <laughs> just, you know, make something that you think best represents our college. So can you talk about your process for that? and how you created the video, which by the way, folks, we'll make sure that the video is available in a link. So if anybody hasn't seen it, uh, we'll make sure it ends up in the Facebook link so you guys can see it. Um, you know, I'll be honest, it's pretty daunting to start a video like this. Um, this is probably the, I would say fourth or fifth orientation slash welcome video I done, I've done at the last university I worked at. Um, I was tasked with doing the entire college's welcome video, which is I think even worse. Um, because you're just dealing with so many areas. And, and the tough part about the Edwards College is, as you guys both know, there are so many programs and so many things going on. Um, and that's not just to you know, boast about the college. There's just a lot of things happening, a lot of events, a lot of majors, a lot of minors, new stuff, you know, uh, a lot of study abroad. You know, there's so many things you can highlight. And then it's like, how do we trim all that down to, I think it was what, uh, 13 minutes or 12 and a half minutes the video was. 
about 13 minutes. So um, the first part is sort of figuring out what is the outline, the blueprint, the script, the storyboard, if you will. Um, and we had a rough idea. I think you and Amanda Bryan had kind of come up with a really rough, um, you know, outline of saying like, okay, here are the four or five pieces we're looking at. Here's sort of the, the slides we'd like to use. And that was like the foundation I, I sort of went off of. Um, but to be honest, there wasn't a whole lot when we started, <laughs> you know, we did those uh, on campus sections, which were great. I chopped those up right away. And then we didn't really have anything. And then we were just sort of like, you know, in a holding pattern because you and I, especially we had, we had some other videos we had to take care of the awards video um, news you can't use. We had to tackle that first. I remember we did that first. So that was sort of like, all right, let's get that off the plate and then go on to the next thing. And then by the time we were done that, we would already missed the deadline for this video. So I think you and I are both sort of scrambling at that point and going, okay, well, we really, I don't know what your thought process was, but I'm sure you're probably thinking, oh, I don't know how this video is going to turn out because we, we really already at the deadline and we don't even have anything beyond the campus stuff. So, um, but once you gave me the voiceover, then that gives me something else to, to mold into it. And so it's sort of like painting. Um, I, I attribute a lot of editing and filmmaking to painting or, you know, putting a puzzle together. You're just getting pieces and slowly you start, you know, connecting them in places and you start, you sort of find the rhythm of it and you, you find the pace. And then um, it's a process. I mean, you, if you've, you know, you've probably done a little bit of editing. I know you have a documentary you're working on years ago um, and you've probably overseen it, but you know, it's a, it's a arduous process. It's something that you can spend many, many months on. And in fact, the last, it's funny, the, the first thing I did when I came here four years ago was an orientation video for Edwards College. We spent about a year making that though, because we had time to make it, you know, we had time to put stuff together. And that was really challenging because um, we just couldn't agree on a lot of it. You know, it was sort of like the first part was what do we want this college to represent? That was the first major mission of the video. Um, and I think we settled on the idea of Edwards College promoting idea of being human, which is, I think, very apparent even in this video. We've sort of carried that over into this newer video. Um, we definitely, you know, because of the circumstances, we certainly needed an update to the, the orientation video. Uh, but it's a daunting task because, again, where do you even start? Who do you show? What do you not show? You know, it's you don't want to isolate um, or single out certain areas. So you have to be very careful about um, what you're showing to, to students and parents and things like that. So again, it's, it's a tough task to tackle. Uh, I'm actually surprised. And this is just me being honest. I'm very surprised at how good it did turn out because we were sort of just throwing a lot of pieces together. We were like, okay, well, let's have a tour of this and let's look at the black box and then let's go in the studio. And then of course there were things that we didn't get to even show. We had recorded um, some stuff in the, the music recording lab and, you know, we recorded a couple areas, um, that we didn't even get to really showcase just because we didn't have time. Um, and that's sort of the issue. It's like, what do we cut out and you know, what can we get away with cutting out? Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with how it came out and it's, it's a fun little video to watch. I know it's, there's a lot of information in it. And that's, I think the key is um, to still try and approach something like this, even from just because my background's more in film, I still try and approach things like this, even um, with a cinematic lens, you know, I, I still try and look at this, in a cinematic way of how do I make this still entertaining and make it something that I would want to watch again. You know, you never make something with the idea of like, I'm just going to make it once and never watch it. I mean, how I was always instructed was you make something that you want to watch again, you know? So that's sort of the approach I took for this. Yeah, it's definitely, um, I don't know why you're surprised that, that how the orientation video came out because it, it's, it's pretty close to as perfect as can get. <laughs> And we'll make sure that the link gets to everybody here pretty soon. But we do have the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts does have a YouTube channel. So you can see all of the crazy stuff that we do. And that is posted there. So you can check out student work and faculty work. And everything else. So, all right. So, the, so the, the whole purpose of orientation is to really get students familiar with, with our college, which is why we have the sure. orientation video. Normally what we do is, uh, or at least last year, uh, Claudia, Amanda and I stood up in front of hundreds of people, um, I don't even remember how many days, weeks we did this, uh, talking to students about the, the beautiful thing that is the Edwards College. And um, so we're gonna share the video with you guys for you to watch so you can see some of the things uh, that our students are producing, our faculty are producing. But one of the great things about Mike's studio specifically is your, your ability to collaborate with other 
uh, either faculty or projects on campus. Can you sort of speak to the digital production studio and what you guys do and how you, like what are some projects that you guys have collaborated on with say like the Athenian Press and other people? Sure. Um, there's been a lot now. I mean, it's only been four years, but in that time, um, we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, when I first came here, you know, we were still building out. The studio was still being outfitted. Um, that's sort of, I think, why it was hired in the first place was to sort of finish out the development of that space. Um, but once we got it up and running, which it really sort of took off because we were running an internship out of it at the time. And there was a big need in the college for video resources. Uh, we have a very good visual arts program and a very good the excellent theater program. Um, so we were... <laughs> So we were tasked with capturing a lot of what our students and our faculty were already doing. And that's a very apparent, again, in, in this orientation video, there's just a lot they're involved with. Um, but right away, because my you know, immediate boss, my immediate supervisor is Allie Crandall, um, she sort of recruited me into doing some work with the Athenaeum Press. So um, one of the first things I jumped onto was um, a project we did with uh, homelessness, which was a really intriguing and eye-opening project. Um, it was challenging in a lot of ways. And it was, a, it was an approach to a subject that I'd never taken before. And it was really neat to collaborate in that way. And we did a lot of video elements and we ended up producing a really cool photo uh, book with it. Um, of course, one of my main um, student workers, Brooks Leiby, who um, you'll probably hear his name mentioned a lot because he worked very closely with me. Um, we collaborated on a lot of Sandy Island um, material. You know, he was working with um, a virtual tour basically. And that's, I think, finally out there. Uh, the virtual tour has finally sort of taken off, but, but he worked on a project for maybe two years on and off with the press. Um, and that was just from our area. That's, you know, a lot of what you get to see is, is tons of Brooks's hard work um, yeah. between his video work and his photography. Uh, more recently, the uh, Rough Seas and Legacies project, we got to do a cool um, snapshot and interview for that. That was really neat. Um, printing the past uh, SC in 3D um, with Kitty Clary. Uh, that project was a lot of fun. I felt like, you know, doing a lot of these projects, I feel like I get to be a part of them, which is really neat. That's one of the cool things about um, being in the production studio and being a part of the Edwards College in general, just being a part of our department is um, you get to meet and collaborate with so many different people, people I never imagined I would probably be interacting with. I, you know, I constantly get to learn new things, um, whether I want to or not. It's, it's the best way to learn because uh, I don't have to try. I don't have to, you know, I just show up and listen to people. That's the best part about being a filmmaker, being a storyteller. You just, you get to absorb the information. And that's what's really fun about the studio is we get to have, you know, people come in all the time. We get to interview a lot of the alumni that come through here and just sort of pick their brain. You know, I've gotten to meet Michael Kelly uh, in New York with the theater program, uh, which was really cool. I got to interview him just on a whim because he happened to be at the same place um, that our, some of our theater seniors were at. So this position and this studio affords a ton of opportunities. Um, and a lot of the students figure that out pretty quickly when they start to hang around, they, they start to realize, um, you know, the opportunities are there. You just have to sort of reach out and grab them. And as we've gone along, I'll just keep going here. As we've gone along, the process and, and what we sort of worked on has evolved from just simple interviews in the studio to um, short films, documentaries, music videos, whatever. Um, and I don't know if you want me to get into too much detail, but <laughs> I'll, I'll let you uh, drive the, the questions. <laughs> okay. So, all right, let's, so what, or as you put this video together, what surprised you the most about the, the actual end product? Outside of, you know, you were surprised that it worked out more. <laughs> um, you know, how well it all flowed together, I think is what, what surprised me is that, you know, we're jumping from, you know, images of a fountain to a radio station, to kids in a classroom, to theater, but we, you know, as I'm watching it and just scrubbing through it again, I'm like, wow, we have some really striking visuals of things that we've done. Um, and I like, I land on that one shot of, um, I think it's from Steel Pier that we have from the commercial. We shot, we shot a commercial for, you know, Steel Pier and Hubble to Broadway. 
um, there's just some really cool imagery in there that that like it really surprised me. And you know, when it's put to music or put to voiceover, and you sort of realize like how kind of uh, majestic it can be, and you don't realize that's coming from um, the people you work with, you know, the people around you, and some of this stuff almost all of this stuff was shot by either myself or my students or um, David Russell or one of David Russell's employees or, you know, someone in the production staff there. Uh, there's just some beautiful imagery uh, associated with this college. And one thing I keep seeing is just the, the mention of, you know, the unique collaborations with people and everything that you talk to, every time you talk to a student, there's always someone, um, there's always seems to be a sort of a mentor that they connect with. And that was really cool to see. Like, I feel like you don't get that everywhere. I feel like you don't have that really unique relationship with um, faculty or staff everywhere because I know my, my students certainly have it uh, with me because we've worked on some incredible stuff. But it's really cool to see um, these projects just be more than just classroom experiences. I mean, everything that you pro probably see in the video um, from the printing to press to the um, Masters in Music Technology, that stuff, you just get to see some really cool projects that I don't think get highlighted um, enough or, or sort of showcased enough. And that was something that really stood out to me. Um, and then of course, you know, just bragging on some of the really neat stuff that we get to do, because to be honest, I don't, we don't get a whole lot of um, acknowledgement or publicity for most of the things we do. They just sort of get swept under or under the current because we're just constantly doing things. So you know, just being able to mention like um, the Star Wars film and things like that. Um, that was a lot of fun because again, we don't, um, we don't get to publicize a lot of that enough. You know, it's just, it gets lost in the shuffle and we just sort of move on to the next thing. So this was a really cool moment, I think, to reflect on it's almost like the year's worth of accomplishments and, and whatnot that everyone within the college was a part of. I think that was the best part of the video. It was like, you know, it's like a greatest hits for the Edwards College that, that sort of comes together. Mike, I think this is a good time to plug the Edwards Live initiative that we're doing in the college, that every week we post new content. Uh, we talk about what's happening in the college, both um, from in the classroom, outside of the classroom, faculty research, student research, cultural arts. Like we have a plethora of content that's coming out every week. And you're even being diverted to that. I will say I am I am sad and I'm hurt that you didn't talk about that you were amazed by my voiceover work. They did <laughs> the microphone buried in a book with I created my own little sound booth to like make sure I didn't have any extraneous <laughs> sound audio quality coming in like my neighbor cut things long. Well, so, I appreciate the work you put in for it. Uh, I will say that I did have to do quite a bit of editing with it though. <laughs> just because there were some awkward pauses here and there that <laughs> where you would trail off like you'd say you'd say and it would, yeah, so yeah. I'd, have to, I'd have to like just completely cut it out because it seemed like you were like tired at, at some point <laughs> you were like it seemed like you'd been recording for a while I had them but we made it work you know we made yeah. it work it was... <laughs> I had because my neighbor decided to cut his lawn <laughs> I didn't notice the lawnmower while editing which is good so you did a good job I, I did it for you Mike for you, just know that. I've said that, now recorded, it's somewhere. Now it's on the internet. Uh, well, um, I mean, I wouldn't switch careers for <laughs> yet. <laughs> I might take a few classes. You know, we have some great classes here at Coastal for, for voice. I know, I think they're hiring a new a new voice faculty in theater, so. Yeah, that's not gonna be me. I'm not in your spare time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so can you tell me about some upcoming projects that you're working on? I know that you, you mentioned your Star Wars film. Are you going to do a sequel or are you going to continue working on it and adding to that? Um, you know, I'd love to do more of it, but, uh, you know, I think I need like a good two years off from it just because it, you know, there was only about three or four of us doing the effects work. There was about 15 of us total working on the project, but only three or four of us were doing the actual VFX. And you really need a team of like 20 people for a project like that, because it's just, I mean, as an example, just to give you an example, uh, it took us over a year to, to finish that from paper to, you know, actual film. So when you do the sequel, obviously you have to do more, you have to do bigger, go bigger and go better. Um, and that's what we, honestly, and that's what we've tried to do with most of the things we've done. We started off doing simple short films, you know, dialogue things. And then was it two summers ago, we did a, a horror medium feature with John Woodson and I did a collaborative 
um, horror feature film. And so each time we do something, we're sort of taking a step higher. Um, and then the Star Wars thing was like the culmination of my seniors work. And the cool thing about that was uh, we got to collaborate with, you know, four departments, you know, we pulled in music for it. We pulled in visual arts to do the robot we made. Um, of course, all the actors are theater students. So it was a really awesome opportunity to just collaborate with as many people as possible. And sure, I'd love to do a project like that again. Um, what I've actually just finished uh, a group of theater students and I have just finished is a feature length script that we'd love to do someday. I don't know um, if it'll happen here or happen at Coastal, but it's um, a script the students and I are working on. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, it's, it's going to be a surprise when, when things sort of clear up again, we'll probably do a launch for it. Um, but the, the plan was to start um, working on that this summer because we finished the script over, uh, over the winter break and into the spring semester. So um, go and we're going to go bigger. You know, next thing will be a little bit bigger. Um, of course, there's never any money for most of these projects. We usually do these, <laughs> you know, on a whim out of our, you know, out of our own pockets. And, um, you know, that's the, that's the beauty of it, what we can do with so little. And I think that's part of the fun and using, you know, just using our imaginations and it just shows the resources we have, you know, that, I'm, that we're able to, and you mention it all the time, Easton, you always, you're always saying, if you can dream it, we can do it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> promising the world. <laughs> and, and then it's like, we have to deliver on it. So, you know, and, and when my students asked me, you know, why don't we just, why don't we do a star Wars thing? And I was like, I don't, you know, I don't know if we can, you know, I, I just, my first, my gut instinct was, I don't know if we can just because it's, it's just a lot of work and it's just, you know, but, by sheer will and motivation, we, you know, we did it. Um, but that's the whole point. It's like, you know, if you, if you dream it, there's a good chance it can happen. You know, you, you're going to have to put the work in obviously, but there is a chance that it can happen. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, you joke about it, but it's, what's funny is like, I've seen it actually happen where mm -hmm. these crazy ideas, students that have come here and they say, Hey, you know, I'm interested in doing these things. Like, is this possible? And then, you know, people like us, <laughs> you know, department chairs, faculty, whomever, you know, have to sit there and say, all right, well, what, what can we do? Like, can we do that? Like, right. I don't to ask, let's see what happens or right. let's do it and then hope for the best. Right. So and with that said, why don't you do a plug for the new minor that's coming up and well, what's it called again? Film and what? Production studies? Yes. Yeah, a minor in film and production studies. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's brand new. Um, you know, I don't know how much I can even talk about it because, um, you know, I'm on just on the initial planning of it. You know, I was sort of dealing on the end of establishing what production classes we were going to have. So uh, I don't honestly even know what classes are, are being offered this summer in the minor just because I, I'm not uh, fully aware what, what's being offered yet. But yeah, it's brand new. Um, I know at least I think I can say for the most part that it's going to be split um, in terms of you're gonna take a couple film theory classes and then you'll be required to take a couple actual production classes. So I think you'll have to take at least two uh, film theory classes and then at least two production classes. And then um, you can choose what you want from there. It'll be elective based. So if you decide you wanna, you know, maybe you're not into production as much and you just really wanna study film and expand your knowledge of it and expand on you know, learning about world cinema and not just American cinema and things like that. Cause we have a lot of great faculty that are um, already teaching film courses. And so sort of, those are sort of being reintegrated into this minor. And you just say, I, I, you know, I'm not too interested in, in production. So I want to do that. Or it's the opposite. You can say, you know, I really just want to focus on the practical hands-on end. Um, and so a couple of my classes are getting filtered into there. My, my TV studio production and my film and video editing, um, John Woodson's acting for camera is actually getting incorporated into that minor as well. So if you're a theater student and you're looking to add a minor, it's not a bad thing to do because you're going to cross over with a lot of film material. So you'll be able to study and actual work on some film and, and do some production end. So um, I feel like, you know, it's not a bad minor to add um, for a lot of programs. So COM is probably the easiest, uh, you know, COM and, and journalism are probably the easiest um, to marry together because it just makes sense. We get a lot of visual arts and comm majors that are looking for that film angle. So this is that sort of that perfect lead into it. Um, you know, this is our stepping stone to, to hopefully building out on this program. But um, yeah, we worked pretty hard, you know, a big group of us, probably about 20 of us worked pretty hard hammering this all out before, um, you know, spring sort of 
uh, went awry. And so I'm just so glad that it got done because um, it's something we've really wanted for a while is to, and, and students have been asking for it. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times students ask me for uh, a film program or film classes or whatever. And so this is a cool um, direction that we, excuse me, we can start to take students in. Um, but yeah, start looking out. I guess it's going to be the F-I-L-M designation. Just start looking out for that designation uh, in the course catalog and you should be able to pick up some of those classes. Yeah, it's definitely a truly interdisciplinary minor, um, which is pretty amazing. So, uh, you know, multiple, I think it's about five departments got together to just mm -hmm. put this together. Because I know, I mean, again, you know, when I was in visual arts, everybody asked me all the time, video, 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 do you have more video? Right. We would say, or I would say, yes, it's coming. This, we have Michael Giorgio. Like, <laughs> yeah, go see this guy. Based every once in a while, the availability to teach it. Right. So, yeah, I'm glad that this is finally come to fruition because I think it's going to be a very popular minor that complements a com degree, an LIS degree, or languages and intercultural studies, theater, right. graphic design, whatever. Absolutely. It's going to link up pretty well. Um, all right. So, Mike. Our orientations tend to be about 30 minutes long. We're about, about 30 minutes. So what I'd like to do is I want to turn the question, you be the person to ask the questions of myself and Dr. Bornhold. So what questions do you have for us about any of this process, the things that we do or don't do for you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fun. I get to ask questions now. Um, well, yeah. So what was it like um, for you guys doing orientation this way with video? I mean, I, I'm sure to some degree it may have been far more difficult for you and you know it's you know and to a point you're almost hands off in a way because you're you're just passing it to me and saying good luck <laughs> you know I'm sure that probably worried you a bit of like what are we going to come up with here so I, I'll chime in first I know last year we had plenty of time to really plan for orientation mm -hmm. talk through our process for you know what we're going to talk about with students like what our what is our year going to look like um, actually, this is the, about the one year anniversary of Dean Bornholtz. She's been here one year as of, I think, two days ago, maybe yesterday. Um, and there was a while where uh, Dean Bornholtz showed up on campus and then she looked at me and she said, we have to plan for orientation now. What is, what is, what is the presentation? Like? What are we going to talk about? What is <laughs> and um, I mean, we did, we got, it, we got it together. We got it put together. And then all of a sudden, like you said, spring happened. And we sprung into action, if you will, and then mm -hmm. put together a very quick video for orientation. We didn't want to do a PowerPoint presentation. We knew that because we've, we've seen plenty of videos that are online of PowerPoints. And it's just sure. talking heads, and that's not anything that we really wanted to do. So that's where I think that, you know, you talked about the interdisciplinary minor in film and production studies. Um, I find our office to be very interdisciplinary and highly collaborative that, and I enjoy working with Amanda and Dean Bornholt and with you on all of this stuff. And I think that there's a lot of trust among each other to create a product that represents our college. Sure. Um, yeah, Absolutely. Donald, would you like to add in? Yeah, I think if I can chime in too, um, it is trust, that's really the biggest thing. So I'm not, I'm not a member of the generation that's used to being constantly on camera or you know, in, in, in live feeds on Instagram and all these things. So we're, we're learning this new world. I love to teach, but this is again, this is the moment when you're in the classroom and nobody's recording that, right? So you just right. do your thing. And, and having this on video and you can actually look at yourself afterwards, it's all about trust that Mike will pick the, <laughs> not the really embarrassing shot. <laughs> and, and, but I think, I think it was great when we did this. It was the first time I would almost in two months that we had all seen each other in yeah. person, actually. Sure. It was a, and we were all in the, we started in the courtyard, which interestingly enough, all three of us, the courtyard of the Edwards building, which all three of us chose independently as our background picture for this <laughs> Zoom here today, which tells you something. So, um, so yeah, it was the first time we met. We all kept our distance, um, and and I think it just showed we had a lot of fun seeing each other. First of all, and, mm -hmm. and everybody everybody felt like you know we're in good hands. And I think that's the important part. That's the important part for the college in general. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of 
really professionalism and that shows. So we're pretty proud of our video, <laughs> but um, so that's really great. And it's been, it's, but I think that is very, that's just a symbol of the college in general. I think we did, everyone did a great job adjusting to the new realities really quickly and people collaborated. That's why these new programs are so exciting. The new film, um, film what's it called? Film <laughs> production studies. Correct, there you go, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great, you know, we have, when we have, we launched this year, we launched a number of interdisciplinary programs, which is really great. It's just people, faculty collaborating, students across the disciplines get to work together. And so I think that's very, very symptomatic. And thinking about last year's orientation, that's what we talked about the most. Um, just the Easton kept saying, like, just ask. Just come and ask. If you want something, you just got to ask us and we make it happen. Or what you just said, you know, if you can dream about it, we can make it happen. So right. I think that's really the idea. If students, I mean, this was a degree students really asked for for a while and faculty came together and and made it happen. So, and I think that's a good, that's really a good indication of how we like to work. So a lot of student input. We've done a lot of things that came to us from the students across the board, which is, I guess, the beauty of being in a smaller university. We really know in a smaller college, we really know our students. We really encourage people to speak up and, and you know, give us feedback. And that's really great. So this is a great, I think this is a good indication. We've, we've grown, I've grown in this year, not just <laughs> because of all the challenges that the world gave us, <laughs> but, but I think it's really nice to see how people work together. So um, Absolutely. Yeah, that's why we are really proud of our little video. So Absolutely. I hope everyone watches it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, and let me just say, I appreciate you guys having me on here to, to talk about it. I, it's not often that I get to talk about my work. It's usually just on to the next thing. So I do appreciate that. Well, we appreciate your work. We couldn't, we would not be, we wouldn't look. <laughs> and this isn't the first video. We've been through a few rounds. Um, we have a great Discovery Day video where Easton is showing his his actor skills, starting his in the inner Bueller. <laughs> so, his inner Ferris Bueller. I know where he's the Ferris Bueller of the Edwards College. So, so it's really been it's really been great, and um, and <laughs> we, we can I hope we can just. You know, communicate a little bit of how much we're we're smiling and being creative through all of this, and we're looking forward to really being back to somewhat normal um, with all the you know with all the social distancing um, you know protocols in place and all that. But um, we're good. We're, we're good to go. So if you don't have anything else, I'm gonna maybe talk a little bit about next week. Yeah, okay. let me ask one more question real quick um, for both of you. Won't be a hard one. What's your, what was your favorite part of the video other than your performances? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, I probably, I have to say probably Amanda, you know, and Chauncey. Yeah. Two of them were very, I mean, that's the same height. <laughs> <and they're awesome. laughs> but they were very harmonious. I think it was great. And also having been there and having seen her, how many, you know, just how much fun she had doing it. And then the little knowledge of, we filmed that there was not a soul on campus. It was so empty, but the moment she had a really good run on it, there were like five trucks <laughs> on an empty campus. That's, that's you know? true, very true. So these little things that no one gets to see, but mm -hmm. probably that part. My favorite part was when Claudia walks in the middle of the scene. <laughs> we knew that was coming. <laughs> 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 she was very upset with herself after that. I know. And the thing is that I was reading email on my phone and then I thought like, I did the worst of all possible things. I just walked right into the shot and then I didn't know where to go. Should I hide behind Easton? Should I walk out? Should I just keep going? You did it good. You did good because you just cut and kept going. You didn't do the deer in the headlights, you know, stare or their runoff camera, which is what most people do. So you, you did good. You just look like an extra. There you go. Right? The, paid, the unpaid extra with the stuff. <laughs> right. I know. No, we had fun. So. We really did. Also, it was a beautiful day, and it was really nice. I, I, I think we also were all a little stir crazy. We were happy to get out of the house. Yeah, absolutely. So, which helped, right? That's good. Well, I just wanted to. I mean, we're all on for forty minutes almost. I just want to kind of wrap us up a little, wrap it up a little bit, yep. and um, say thank you again. So, I hope people really enjoy the video. Um, if you watch it, um, 
leave us comments, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching it. We're going to try to check in with people and answer questions about the college and, um, you know, get in touch with us, email us. We're easy to find. Just go to the Edwards College website. We're right there. And then um, just a heads up for next week. Next week, we're going to feature our social sciences. I mean, we are the College of Humanities and Fine Arts, but the largest programs we have in our college are actually the social sciences, <laughs> which is um, our program in political science, intelligence and national security, and in communication, media, and culture. So we're gonna, we're, we decided let's go full out. So we're bringing our biggest programs to you next week, Tuesday. We're gonna have the chair of the politics department here with us, um, Adam Chamberlain. And then we have um, the chair of the communications department here, Kyle Holiday, and also Joseph Pitsanakis, um, who will, who's a faculty member in the intelligence and national security program. And they will all answer questions, talk about the programs. Um, and that's about, they're representing about half of all of our students in the major actually. So um, we should reach a lot, of, a lot of students. I hope a lot of students can really use this opportunity to ask all kinds of questions about courses, programs, all of this. So um, we look forward to that. And then the week after that, just as a little preview, we're gonna do the arts, I believe, or the humanities, one of them. So we're gonna do the humanities and the arts. <laughs> And the last program in, um, in June, we're going to be talking about a lot of our interdisciplinary programs. We are this summer working on a new humanities core course, which is fully interdisciplinary. So we want to talk a little bit more about that. It will be a themed course. And it's another one of these efforts of bringing students together and faculty together across disciplines. So we're working on that. And yeah, thank you, everyone. Any famous last words from Easton and, and Mike? Mike, thanks for everything you do. All right, well, thanks for having me here, guys. And I really appreciate it. Like I said, I, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to acknowledge some of the work we do. Uh, and I hope people get to watch this video because we spent a lot of time on it. Mostly me spent a lot of time on it, but everyone else, <laughs> you know, <laughs> got to enjoy it and watch it. So please watch my hard work. Yes, watch his hard work. It's worth it. So, and once you join, once you join our campus, you get to actually meet the man. <laughs> and you get to work with them hopefully so so thanks everyone i, I want to um thank travis brooks um from our team on, in the dean's office who is running this and making sure the live streams are streaming and <laughs> keeping us all um working and functioning so thanks travis and thank you travis and then we'll get to see hopefully everyone again next week tuesday at 2 p.m youtube facebook instagram so great thank you all for joining us today and watch the video Thank you.